for the moment, I think let's just totally grant the FBT theorem. So the, the probability that natural selection results in our perception of the truth is null. We'll totally grant that. Then I think this brings us back to what we do perceive. And so I'm wondering how this leads to where we started with this idea of the computer desktop or the phone screen, the home phone screen, and then what we haven't mentioned yet, at least not explicitly, which is the interface theory of perception or the ITP. Right. So from an evolutionary point of view, if, if we haven't been shaped to see the truth, then what have we been shaped to see? Well, we've been shaped to see something that guides adaptive behavior. That's what the, the, you know, that's, that's when you, if you just stick with what, you know, evolution, you've been shaped with sensory perceptions that guide adaptive behavior, period. Well, how can we understand those? Well, what metaphor could we use to understand them? And that's where I use the desktop, you know, metaphor or a virtual reality headset metaphor. Um, if you're if you're playing a game of Grand Theft Auto, for example, the VR version with people around the world, and I look over to the right and I see a you know red Ferrari. Um, I'm not. There's no real red Ferrari anywhere. I, I, I render the red Ferrari and I perceive it when I look there. As soon as I look away, it's garbage collected. It's it's gone. And in the supercomputer that's running the, the Grand Theft Auto game, there if you looked inside, you would find no red Ferraris inside that supercomputer anywhere. There's just diodes and resistors and voltages. So the red Ferrari and all the cars that I see, including my the steering wheel of my ride, the, the dashboard, the, the, the gas pedal, all the stuff that I'm seeing gets rendered on the fly. It's there when I look. Yeah, there's a steering wheel and I see the avatar hands on the steering wheel when I look. As soon as I look away, there is there are no hands and no steering wheel anywhere. There's no if you look inside the supercomputer, there's no hands in the supercomputer, there's no steering wheel. So so where when does that hand and that steering wheel exist and where? It exists only when I look and it only exists in my perception, period. Nowhere else. It's rendered on the fly and it's deleted on the fly. So we're rendering and deleting on the fly. And that's what I'm saying the physical world is. I look at the moon, I render the moon. I look at the car, I render the car. I look at my fork, I render the fork. As soon as I look away, uh, they're, they're, that rendering, there is some reality. In the VR game, there is some reality in that metaphor. It's the supercomputer that I'm, I'm saying is the, the reality just for sake of, of, of the image, of the argument. But I'm saying that space-time itself is just our VR headset. And we render all the physical objects we see, we render on the fly. And, and you go, well, but, but, but my, you know, my friend Joe, I mean, if I'm not looking at the, at the you know, tennis ball, my Joe, friend Joe sees the tennis ball, so surely that means the tennis ball is there. No. Imagine a virtual reality game of tennis. So I take a virtual tennis ball and I, I hit it, and it, I hit the tennis ball, and my, my, my friend hits it back. Well, actually, my tennis ball is the one I see in my headset, and Joe's is the one that he sees in this headset. And if I, if I say, oh, there's a, but there really is a tennis ball. There's not just my headset. There, look, I can take a tennis ball. I'm not looking at it. I can drop it. Joe, do you still see it? And he goes, oh, yeah, I still see it. Well, he's, he's rendering a tennis ball in his headset. That's why he says he still sees it. So that's all that's going on. As soon as you take this VR metaphor, all the arguments that people give to saying for why I know that the reality exists even when you're not looking, just put them in VR and you'll realize that they all fall apart. You can do them all in VR and the same arguments go through. Um, and so just think VR and you'll get the right answer on this. Uh, and that's why, by the way, I, I think that what I'm saying right now seems way out there. Frankly, I think within a generation, it's going to look pretty. You know, people argued about it. People, people didn't get this. I think that the next generation that, that spends, you know, half their life in, in virtual reality, it's going to be a no brainer than when I take the, the headset off. To, to think about what I'm seeing now is just another headset. It's just it's going to be a no brainer to them. So so frankly, I think it's it's um, it's just going to be you know so what ho hum uh, yeah of course it's just a, it's a VR headset to the next generation. But to my generation, it's not. It's it's uh, we didn't we weren't raised in VR um, and we have the belief that we're seeing reality as it is.